Hi, this is Baby Shark. Welcome to another Warcraft 2 tutorial. This is designed for people who are new to the game of Warcraft 2 and would like to learn how to play this awesome, fun game. Let's get started. Last time we talked about walling in, how you can defend your base by building a wall, such as this one. This base here is walled in with these two farms. This is the 11 o'clock position on the map, all you need. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to attack the different types of wall ins that we talked about last time. So we know there's a guard tower behind here, which I can show you by scouting it out, that it's shooting at me. So I don't want to just suicide all the grunts into the tower. I want to um, go attack with a catapult, because a catapult has more range than the guard tower. So the catapult can shoot at the tower without getting shot. Now I selected my grunts and press T so that they're not going to run and start doing anything I don't want them to do without permission. Now the opponent will often start to repair their tower. As you can see, the health bar keeps going up and up so they are repairing that and they can usually just continue to repair it so I can try to kill the repairing peons if I can reach without my tower getting hit. But in this case, you can see if I go to kill the repairing peons, the catapult starts getting hit. So I want to move back. But if he, he, can, he can keep bringing more peons to repair that tower. So what I want to do is I want to change the attack onto this farm here. Because any repairing peons, I can kill them with the catapult because I can reach them all. So once that farm is getting pretty close to being dead, I can send in the grunts to attack. I don't want them to attack too early, because I'm going to lose some of them un un unnecessarily. So it's getting pretty low now, so I'm going to attack because I think I will get through pretty quickly. And then I can resume attacking this tower with the catapult. And I killed some of my own grunts, which don't do that. <laughs> and then you can finish off that base. So that is that one. I'm going to quickly up upgrade this for later. Okay, so now at 9 o'clock we know what's in there from the last video that we did on Wallins, but I will just go scout it out with a grunt just to show you. Okay, so we have an Axer, and we also know there's a Catapult in there. So when we have a wall in, and we suspect they have a Catapult because there is a Barracks where they can pop units into the inside because units pop out on the left, um, we're going to assume that there's a Catapult and we're going to bring two Catapults to come attack that. You want to bring a second one because if your first one dies and that's all you had, then you're out of luck. So I'm moving the catapult back to make sure that the, all, as many grunts as possible can hit that at the same time. So we got through that wall as well. Now I did do it here, but you can also go to attack with your grunts, the barracks. So while the wall is still is still up, you can actually attack it with your grunts because if they start to target your grunts with their catapult, you should be able to kill their catapult with your catapults because you have two of them that you can control. Um, but if they have theirs out of reach, like if their catapult is out of the reach of your catapults, then you can pull back your grunts because they're just going to die unnecessarily. 
and you can target the barracks or the farm that they have as their wall um, to get in there. Alright, so that took care of that wall. Alright, so now we're going to look at the unit wall. We know there's a unit wall all scouted out with a grunt. And if you, see, if you see that your grunt is going to die when you scout something, you want to pull it back so that it does not die, and you can still use it for further scouting or for attacking. So you don't want your units to die for nothing. So you want to attack a unit wall with either um, greater level levels of units, so we can upgrade, or you can have a greater number, so higher levels or greater number. Um, another thing is you could bring an axer and kind of form your own wall behind here. And you select all the grunts that are part of that wall, and then you press T, and then you can come and shoot them from behind your wall with an axer. And then either he's forced to break that wall, or withdraw his men, giving you access to the base. So he, so his unit wall allowed him to re-wall. So he's re-walled here, but because I have an axer, I can kill the repairing peon that we see there, and continue to attack that wall. Okay, so we took care of that wall as well, including the re-wall. So that base is finished. Alright, now we're going to go down to this choke. So I'm going to go scout it and we're going to see that there's a choke. So now what happens if I send this guy to attack this choke is he's going to die real fast. Like that. So I don't want to send guys into that choke because it's very suicidal. But what we can do in this type of situation is we can reverse choke on the outside. Like this. And now if he comes to attack, then he's going to lose those grunts. And the advantage of us being on this side is we are putting damage on these barracks. And so he's going to either have to make a catapult, an axer, or um, repair the barracks, do, or build a tower behind there, something. Um, he's going to have to spend resources um, and peons to keep that going. And then if you want to, if, if he goes to build a tower, you can bring catapults or, um, or magic, depending on where you are in the game. But that's the reverse choke. Um, okay, so now we know from the other video what's in here. We have cannon towers, two of them, and magic. So this is a very dangerous place to run into, even with lusted ogres. So we're going to need magic to take care of this type of thing. So we know there's two cannon towers in there because they're shooting from two directions. So we're going to use this unit that has more range to see where they are. Okay, and then we're going to decay those. And once the towers are gone, we can also start hitting this wall. And they have magic in there too, so we want to see if we can target that mage and get rid of it. Or it's a death knight, not a mage. want to kill the mage because that's dangerous to ogres. 
they can cast D&D. &D. And we know that one was low on mana because it spent all its mana attacking already. Alright, so that's the end of that base. Now we're going to look here at another option that you can do instead of catapults when you have a wall in like this with a cannon tower behind it. So we have a little army of grunts and we're going to use sappers to try to get both buildings at a time. So you have to target like that. You have to target either this square here so that it also hits the lumber mill or this square here so that it also hits the barracks because you want it to kill both buildings. And then your grunt army follows in as quickly as possible behind that. And we're going to kill the cannon tower, which should be pretty easy to kill because we have a number of grunts. And the cannon tower is not very good at attacking close range, so right in front of it. And we want to make sure that these repairing peons are dealt with so that the cannon tower actually does die. And that's the end of that base. Um, and then I'll show you one more thing. Um, we're going to go to 12. And so let's go see what they have up there. Okay, so there's a bunch of ogres and a tower, and I wasn't able to pull back in time. That thing died. Um, so we have units that can only attack ground here, um, ogres and a cannon tower. So one option to help deal with that, in addition to the units that you have, is to use um, dragons or griffins to kill that cannon tower. Because the cannon tower, you can't attack behind, so you have the ogres and then you have the wall, so you can't really access it from over here. And then you can also start hitting these, the ogres, with your air. Because it'll take them a little bit of time before they can get air defense, like archers or guard towers or magic, if they don't already have it. So this wall is going to go down soon. Um, so this, these are just some basic ways that you can start breaking through the different types of wall ins that you'll see throughout the game. But yeah, for sure you should try out Warcraft 2 if you never have played it. It's a really fun game and there's a lot of in-depth strategy involved. You can get, like you can spend 20 years playing this game and still be learning new things and getting better. So, aha, uh -huh. what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.